on the bluffs overlooking the beautiful Pacific Ocean in Dana Point, California, an incredible collection of fine Porsches were on display. This concours event attracted some of the finest Porsches in Southern California. Some of the rarest Porsches to be found anywhere came out for this event. My name is Jack Brown and I'm a Porsche nut. The car that I'm sitting in is a 65C Cabriolet. I bought the car in 1992. It was involved in a slight fender bender and that started the madness. What I mean by the madness is I started saying, okay, the first thing I got to do is fix the dent. And once I fixed the dent, I said, well, oh my God, if I do that, I have to do this. And if I do this, I have to do that. And 70,000, that's seven zero comma zero zero zero, seventy thousand dollars later, here's what I have. This car did win the 1998 Zone 8 Porsche Concours Street Division. Part of the fun in restoring a car is the search for the parts. The actual hunt is more than half the fun. Uh, we try to restore it exactly like it looked when it came off the assembly line. It, it, it took me a year and a half to find the correct cloth material for this oil filler hose and the correct uh, clip. And most of the credit for the engine compartment, the cleanliness of it, goes to my wife, Margaret. This is pretty much what the car looked like uh, when it came off the line. I'm Robert Kahn. I own a 1958 Speedster. This is a car I've owned since 1976. Started racing it right after I bought it, and I've been racing it, you know, for the last uh, 24 years. You know, basically, uh, it's a lot of camaraderie, uh, a lot of fun on the track. Uh, you can race hard, but you have to race clean. It's fun to drive. It's kind of like racing in an old movie. I do all my own work. Porsche business on the side that helps support my racing habit. Hi, Tim McDonald. This is the Porsche 356 Club. We just finished the uh, car course. The car came in first place. Uh, it's a T5 uh, 1960 Roadster Porsche. It's a 1600 super engine. Uh, the car has original uh, chrome and, and uh, as much as uh, original products as we could get. It's uh, a ruby red, interior leather, and uh, I'm lucky uh, I won today. <laughs> Real happy to be on here. Hi, my name is Tom Martinez and um, the car I'm sitting in here is a, is a 1957 Speedster. Cut down windshield is uh, you know unique to the Speedster. The uh, the doors are the doors are different than the standard 356 uh, coupes or even cabriolets, and they're considerably lighter uh, than than the standard models. They were uh, they were the stripper model in, in the mid 70s, and now it's uh, kind of ironic that they're, they're probably one of the most popular 356 models. I've uh, been looking for one of these cars for about seven or eight years. I, I finally, finally ran into this car and, uh, in Denver of, uh, last summer of 2000, 2002. And, and now I realize why, why everybody likes these Speedsters, because they, they are really something else to be driving down the road. Miles Olmstead, and I have this uh, 1962 Nashby Coupe. There were 1,700 of them built originally, and there are 500 in this country at last count. And it's a fun car to drive. Classic Porsche style has endured for over 50 years. It takes hard work and countless hours getting these cars ready for concours events. These cars go through such scrutiny 
There's even a white glove test on the engine compartment. The 1955 Spider put Porsche on the racing map. These cars are meticulously restored to showroom condition. This is a great opportunity for these Porsche owners to get together and show off these immaculate automobiles.